our true selves. Inside my parents' old photo album is a picture of a young boy. He has a round face, freckles, and straight light blonde hair. He loves cartoons, hates avocados, and owns just one record by ABBA. Also inside that album are pictures of a teenager. His face is long, not round. His hair is wavy, not straight. He has no freckles, likes avocados, watches movies rather than cartoons, and would never admit to owning an ABBA record. The boy and the teenager are little alike. According to science, they have different skin, teeth, blood and bones. And yet they are both me. This paradox has baffled philosophers. Since we change throughout our lives, who is the real us? The scriptures provide the answer. From the moment God began knitting us together in the womb, we've been growing into our unique design. While we can't yet imagine what we'll finally become, we know that if we're children of God, we'll ultimately be like Jesus. Our body with his nature. Our personality, but his character. All our gifts glistening. All our sins gone. Until the day Jesus returns, we're being drawn towards this future self. By his work, step by step, we can reflect his image ever more clearly. We aren't yet who we're meant to be, but as we become like him, we become our true selves.